עוד יותר, יוצרי התוכן של ישראל. I did not? not expect us to be here today. It's a no, wartime, no, not, it's not a wartime special. It's a wartime special. <laughs> Just last week we were here chatting about how Olim are panicking, stocking up on food, on canned goods. And you were telling me, guys, there's nothing to worry about. They're not going to happen. Turns out It I happened. was right. What? Turns out <laughs> you were stocking up on toilet paper and beans. But it happened. For not- What happened? They striked us. So? It happened. W- what happened? Nothing. Exactly. <laughs> We didn't sleep. That's what happened. Exactly. We were I, up all night anxious and didn't sleep. O, it's O out of 221. I think Israeli guys <laughs> on, the, <laughs> on the beach have... Knee drop. Uh, knee drop. The knee drop. The knee drop. The have knee, a more successful could, rate. I wish you could show the audience right now what a knee drop yeah, is like. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm not going to do a knee drop because <laughs> I never did and, and I never will, you know. So you're saying there's, there's a higher chance of a knee drop being successful than an Iranian drone hitting Israel. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> What I don't understand is how this happened. Biden literally said, don't. Like, oh, no. <laughs> like, how, oh, how did no. this happen? <laughs> Biden say don't. And you know, we all listen to Biden. I don't, it, come on. It seems like every time Biden says don't, The opposite happens. Like he, si- should, he should start yeah. saying, please. Please. <laughs> yeah, please. Please Be my it. guest. Yeah. And then maybe it won't happen. I don't know. I think Biden should like step down. Yeah. He should enjoy his retirement. Yeah, like he's, a, he's 350 years old. I agree. Yeah, he I needs agree. time to relax, you I know. Agree. And, and <laughs> like everything happened during his term. 100%. Everything. 100%. R- Russia and Ukraine, Gaza, now Iran. Dude, you're the bad luck of this universe. It's like they were waiting. The, the, the political leaders were waiting for him to get into power so they can do all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. He's like a substitute teacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good comparison. I've never heard that yeah. kind of comparison. Everybody's like, shh, shh. No, and no. And no one gives a fuck. No one yeah. pays attention to him. Trump. Trump is crazy. Oh no, God. no, no. And then Biden steps in. Everybody's like, ah! Shoo hafshi, fuckers! <laughs> But it's crazy. It's crazy, first of all, that 99% of the drones and missiles were intercepted by our air defenses. That's an yeah. insane statistic. Does this give you more comfort of in course. the IDF? Because the, the, I think the only way we can do better if, it's, if we actually... covered Israel with an iron dome like yeah. that's the only that's the a one percent 99 percent like how are they turning it into like a victory that's the thing I love about radical Islam doesn't matter what they do they fail miserably and, and every still- time they're like this is was for Allah <laughs> and it's a successful attack nobody di- nothing, nothing happened. happened nothing happened the, the Zionist need to know <laughs> yeah. what nothing happened nothing that's happened. a f- joke yeah. that's that's a joke yeah it's and they have no uh like air um how do you call it like air defense, air defense yeah that's what i Nothing. heard too yeah what are you doing Uh, trying to scare us. Doing? that's what they're trying to do they're yeah trying to scare us. it's trying bad to enough you have yeah. a terrible language i don't know if you ever heard farsi that's I horrible I i've i've seen videos from iran of people like just going to like gas up the cars because they thought israel gonna react oh whatever. i saw that yeah yeah so they were they were like <laughs> it's almost as bad as indonesia it's terrible indonesian is the worst <laughs> yeah, that worst. ranks top one yeah, yeah 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 but but it's just you have a terrible language you have good food yeah. but you're just like, like how do you convince the people yeah. that what are you doing yeah. is successful You know, we got, I and a lot of my Olim friends, we got so many questions yesterday. You know, why are you, like, how did you make Aliyah? Like, how did you leave your safe space in the United States and mm-hmm. do this? And how are you feeling about the situation now? And, I mean, yesterday, when we, you were walking down the streets of Tel Aviv, before everything happened, you oh, know, yeah. we still had that warning. Everyone still knew that Iran was possibly going to, you know, attack. But yeah. Everything was packed. Streets were packed. I posted that reel on the Tayelet. It was packed. You couldn't move. You could mm-hmm. barely step mm-hmm. because people were always around. And yeah. um, I think that's, for me, I was thinking about it a lot last night. I'm like, why did I leave my safe place in Texas to be living in this fear and anxiety? And the reality is, first of all, for me personally, I think it's, you're happier here. We're all happier here. We're at home. We're family. We only have one country and this is it. That's true. 
Now let us know. What do you do in like two days? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what do you do? I'm going home to Dallas, Texas. <laughs> But guys, all this heartbreaking guys, guys, monologue. Guys, I booked. Like, I have no other place on earth. I booked. This While you check in your flights, I come booked on. this before the war come broke on. out. I had plans to go home for Passover to be with my mom and dad, who mm. aren't here right now, like your mom and dad are, okay. and they're probably cooking you a Passover meal and hosting you for seder. I yeah, don't have in Kanyavne. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so you're going for a Passover? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. of course, and cool. a pit stop in New York. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Obviously. Because, you know, yeah. Obviously. Good for you. Um, but I think <laughs> every place has its imperfection. Do you agree? No place is perfect. Texas, no we have school place shootings. Is perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, there's no Iron Dome for that. There's no Iron Dome for that. Yeah. I mean, in New York City last week, there was an earthquake. No place is perfect. Mm -hmm. Japs were freaking out. Calling <laughs> Japs were freaking out last week, calling themselves earthquake survivors. <laughs> I swear, I swear, and you know, I had friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had friends. Jobs, earthquake survivors. survivors. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yep. I had friends, um, Jewish American princesses, Japs, who lived in Israel and did Massah programs before, and then moved to New York. Okay. And I felt like they were a little more um, resilient and resistant to the earthquake because they already <laughs> experienced rockets in the past. <laughs> like they weren't the ones being like earthquake survivors. <laughs> Only the other Japs were. It's just, just suck it. <laughs> so every place has its imperfection. You know, you know, White New York has bullshit. earthquakes. <laughs> White women bullshit. They they feel like. <laughs> I'm a survivor now. Oh my god! Like I got my life back. Shut the fuck up. Okay? But not the ones who lived in Israel. Yeah, of yeah. course, because they know they what were it resistant. Is. They know exactly. They're resilient. Yeah. Ah, Americans. Gotta love them. Gotta love them. Gotta love them. Um, but on a lighter note, Matan, I want to congratulate you, thank you. on being part of the By Me yeah, <laughs> team. Thank you, thank you. Can you explain to our audience what By Me is? Some of them may not know. Uh, what By, By Me, me is. is an app for uh, gift cards and presents and everything. It's a very big, a very successful app. Every year, they uh, they choose um, like <clears throat> five, eight people to be their like team. New team. Uh, oh, every year it's a new team. Uh, usually there's some uh, repetitive there's some, ones. Yeah, there's some re repetitive ones, and the new guys this year is me and uh, like uh, three other people, like big celebrities, big Israeli celebrities, like huge ones. Yeah. How does it feel to be an official Israeli influencer? Weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not an influencer. That's like a. You like, are. You are. If you're on like the buy a, me, as no, much as you want to. If you're on the it, buy me, you're not an influencer. If you're on you? buy me, you're, a, you're like a hardcore celebrity. He's okay. really, you so know, is that a step above Actresses, okay. comedians, okay. you know? <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. It's very exciting. It looked It's like very it. Very exciting. It even seemed like the buy me team was a cult. Like, you guys are like. A cult. Yeah, we're like a family, not a cult. We're not Swifties. We're a family. <laughs> That's the difference. Yeah. We, we hang out. We we call each other. We, uh, you know, we talk about stuff. Liel was one of my best friends. Um, Liel Eli, she's also got a podcast here in Odyote. Yeah. You know, once every like three years, she does an episode. It's very exciting. Uh, and, but she's not going to know that because she doesn't. <laughs> she's not listening to <laughs> I can talk trash about her all day. Um, <clears throat> she's one of my closest friends and, and she's on the Buy Me team for the past day. I think two or three years. Yeah. So it felt like, it felt like, Good. you know, it felt Good. like home yeah. kind of in a way. Like I know the people. What was know? the acceptance process like? There was no, they, they just. No initiation? No. Like a fraternity? Like you have to do this to get into there? <sighs> sometimes I hate Americans. You know? <laughs> she, sometimes she makes me hate the American culture. No, it's just, it's very Israeli. Like we all kind of know each other, but we don't know each other personally. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the first meeting was just, To get to know, like, the yeah. people, to have a conversation with the people. And it was very, very exciting. People, like, they told me they knew me. Wow. Like, they, they loved from my Olim work. From the TLV podcast. Uh, obviously, yeah. from Olim and TLV. For that's sure. My, that's my most you, successful one. That's that's what you attribute attribute your yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, success to, right? On the street, people always like, Olim and TLV. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you know, that's what's happening right now. Uh, so, yeah, but it's very exciting. And, uh, and you know, and the moment that happened, a war broke out. So, yeah. you yeah. can never know. But... Uh, hope, hopefully yeah. everything will go back to normal soon. Yeah. So you said you guys are all friends and family. Should we play a friendly game of uh, Mary Kill? Sure. Or friend acquaintance BFF? Let's just do... Friend acquaintance BFF. Yeah, I don't want to yeah, get in yeah, trouble no, with anybody. No. My I'm new to the team. Yeah, I'm yeah, new you to don't want to get kicked off. I don't want to get canceled. Yeah. My Wertheimer, Liel, and um, Barzomar. 
friend, acquaintance, BFF. Uh, Maya is a friend. Liel is my BFF. It's, it's yeah. and Bar is an, uh, an acquaintance. It, yeah, like I know her. Maybe She's next great. year she'll be a Ma- friend. Maybe. And we'll maybe see. even best friend. We'll see. We'll see. But we'll but see. yeah, it's yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can leave with that answer. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, you answered well. You answered fine. Yeah. Um, Maya is so sweet, by the way. Yeah. Maya. Her husband's meant, amazing. Asaf yeah. Samir also. Exa- he's I know. Amazing. He, I know he was here, right? Asaf. He was here for a different. For a different but he's gonna yeah. come here also. We're getting awesome. Yeah. So he's amazing. She's the sweetest. Yeah. Like she's always like asking how I am. She's like a big sister in a way. I've heard she has a really angelic figure to herself. Like she's an eight, like the way she goes about life is like she, angelic. She's she's pregnant now. Uh-huh. And I don't believe her. <laughs> she doesn't look pregnant at all. She's the, the she's like, she's pregnant. She's like, oh, she sits down like, Ugh. and I was like, what are you? Yeah. Stop fooling yeah, us, yeah. you know? But it turns out she is. So yeah. I wish my wife would look like Maybe that. Maybe we should get Maya pregnant. on the podcast. Yeah, sure. We'll do it. Maya, Why not? Maya, petition to get you on the yeah, podcast. Yeah. This is a public announcement. <laughs> um, so on to some other things that are happening internationally. Mm. OJ Simpson. Died at age 76. Who's OJ Simpson? I'm kidding. With a battle from cancer. She, she texted you know? me. She texted me. Do Israelis know who OJ Simpson is? I know. I asked is? that too. I just wanted to check. I don't know. Do Israel? I, I don't know. You guys don't really keep keep up with the international owners OJ sometimes. Simpson? I don't know. I got my answer. I asked. I got my answer. I they do it. know. I love it how Americans just uh, sometimes ask you like the weirdest questions. You know, when you're like, oh, so you lived in Israel your whole life. And you're like, yeah, so you know who Beyonce is? <laughs> You're like, you want me to slap you in the face? Because I will. OJ Simpson, Simpson's not the same. Like, you know, listen, listen. Whatever. If, if you don't know who he is, your parents do. Yeah. Like yeah, 100%. That's for sure. That's for sure. Um, but really mixed emotion time in America. Why? Um, people were just didn't know how to react. I think that's why. Like, they just didn't know how to react. Do, like, I, I do you be like, sad? Do you not be relief. sad? Relief. Yeah. I mean, you know? I agree. So do you think he did it? I don't know. I don't care at that point. Uh-huh. I don't care. Like, he he's he was a horrible person. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, I agree. Other than the murder. He other was, than the murder. Yeah, other yeah. than the, yeah. you know, alleged whatever. He was, a like, armed robbery. Like, yeah. he did he some He served in prison shit. not even for murder, for yeah. armed robbery and, like, kidnapping or He's something. not a yeah. good person. People yeah, are just like, crazy. Oh, he did it or didn't because that will determine yeah. if he's a good good person or not. No, no yeah. that's just another stain on his football right. legacy. But he's a horrible person. I think it was, he was. It was mixed like emotions, quote unquote, because the Kardashians who are having the celebrity scene, like their dad represented them and they were all intertwined and mixed. So they like rubbed that off on a lot of other celebrities, which uh, Kardashians are not the best example of, you know. But, Kardashians are not but the best example of anything. anything. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so I think that was that was loudly talk, talked about last week in addition to Sasha Baron Cohen. And his wife right. splitting yeah, up. Yeah, splitting up. Yeah. Um, do you think the, Sasha the, Baron Cohen? The tennis match photo was weird. I know. I saw that. That was very weird. Do you know why they split up? Did you hear the juice? No. So do you know you do you know Rebel Wilson? Of course. Okay. So she um, she openly talked about how he like harassed and abused her. I remember her. that. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, and so that's ap- why they would. Apparently, that's what triggered the divorce. They and. No, they just announced the divorce last week. Yes, yes. But they were yes. separated but for a while separated. now. They were separated but for a while now. Apparently, no. Apparently, I I read that Rebel was talking about it behind the scenes to other people before oh, coming out of it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's that what I, I read. I I mean, I'll bring she my said, sources. Next she said time. it was it was rude and sexually harassment, yeah, something like that. Right? Yeah. I, yeah. I keep up with yeah. the news with yeah. the current. Yeah, yeah. It's it was clearly. weird. It's 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 unfortunate. Do you think Sasha Baron Cohen is even funny? Honestly, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. I think I have a hot take. I don't think he's that funny. I, I let I, let me tell you this. I didn't really connect it to the Borat movies. Mm-hmm. Like I watched the first one. First one was the best one. Second one was. The um, best. I like I get embarrassed. Really? Like I feel like it's like cringe, embarrassed. Cringe yeah, yeah. So hard. And my friends love it. Like, comedians love Sasha Baron Cohen. Like, they're, like, religiously in love with Borat and what, Bruno, whatever, you know, garbage that they're watching. Bruno, I just oh. can't. I just, I'm sorry. It's too much for me. It's, it's a too little much. cringe. I yeah, agree. Yeah. Um, I it's, don't been, he, it's been a TikToker, but in a movie. Yes, you know, just harassing yes, people yeah, in a weird way. Yeah. The Dictator the, was awesome. I, I got to say. Yes. But The Dictator, I think the reason I liked The Dictator is because it was more 
trying to be mainstream. Because if you let Sasha Baron Cohen do whatever he wants to do, it's too much for it's me. Too much, yeah. But if you you're like, okay, you want this to be on theater, there's some guidelines you have to. And that's what I love. Sasha Baron Cohen in in, in kind of a frame, cut yeah. something, yeah. right? Yeah. Because Borat is way too much. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Um, he didn't even speak about uh, about Israel. I think like he I did. Didn't, he did. He, he said did. something. Yes. Where he talked about how Israel had the right to defend itself. And but like the basic like bare minimum spiel or a, like above and uh I didn't and like I, I don't remember something very like you know fireworks going on like not Michael Rappaport level no, no nobody no, is at Michael Rappaport re- level like listen we need to be realistic <laughs> yes, about this yes yes you know what I mean like BB is yeah. not Michael Rappaport <laughs> level very defending true. Israel yeah. you know yeah but uh I, he was you know everybody knows he's on our side and everybody yeah. knows he's Jewish and he <laughs> talked about it before so you know. At yeah. least that. Yeah. Um, I, I expect nothing from nobody at this point. Like, I really do. After yeah. October 7th, I just don't expect anyone to be... Like, if you do it, it's nice, but I won't be like, where is your voice? Yeah. F*** you. You know, if it just... Yeah. I don't have the energy to chase movie stars and be like, be on our side. We don't need your f***ing side. You can do whatever you want. Remy, Remy uh, Malik, Remy Ma- whatever. Mm-hmm. This Egyptian comedian, uh-huh. which is, by the way... Oh, I know exactly who you're talking like, about. Like, he's just not funny to the point it's infuriating. Like, I'm all about he listening. He started, like, shows in America, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I watched his show, Rami, uh, on, uh, I think it was on Netflix. I think it was on Yes, yes Comedy, uh, Hulu, whatever. Hulu. Hulu, whatever. Hulu, yeah. I watched, like, a few episodes of it, and it's just, like, that's the problem with the world today. I don't know if you guys watched it, this show, but everything he does on this show with his weird ass Muslim friends is just complaining, get this, complaining how hard it is to be Muslim in the modern world. That's the whole Hi. fucking show. Going to a diner at Ramadan and trying not to eat pork because your dad will be mad at you. Like, listen, your religion is in charge of so many terrible things. Stop playing the victim at every point. And then there, at one mm-hmm. point he goes to Egypt to visit his family and almost hook up with his cousin. Something weird. Like he's he's portraying Egypt like this amazing place, like the New York of the Middle East. Dude, you're not fooling anyone. Like we know how Egypt. Like you know yeah, what I. Yeah. You know what Have you I been mean. Egypt, by the way. No, no I've no. been to Sinai, whatever. But that's it's not. E- not uh, really. That's, that's, Egypt, that's not. That's it? the whole way. <laughs> I mean, that, for us, it's Egypt. I'm, that's the whole. Yeah. Like Americans outside, were like, we're going to Egypt. For you, everything <laughs> outside of Tel Aviv is Egypt. That, so uh, it's facts, you know. Facts. So he was. He did a whole special about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and it's so oh, yeah, embarrassing yeah. how little he knows about what's going on. Yeah. And it's like it's, it's in a form of comedy, and you know, it's reminds me of the sometimes there's uh, what do you call cheap applause for comedians? What is cheap applause, by the way? It's hey New York, I'm so happy to be here. It's a great th- like New York is the greatest. <sighs> yeah, you know that's cheap applause. Like my wife just nothing? had a baby. Cheap applause. Okay. You know, it, there's no joke. Just cheap yeah, applause. Yeah. And, and and women comedians do it all the time because they're like, because we're women and we have the right to, you know, and you were like, awesome. Where's the joke? You know? Yeah. So the whole special is just like, you're Palestinian, free Palestine. And you're like, dude, you're a comedian. Yeah. yeah. Not, not a politician. A not a politician. Yeah. yeah. Weave some jokes into it. You know, yeah, make yeah. me laugh, but it was just, it's just terrible. I didn't know he was to this extent, like, uh, bad, I guess. So bad. Um, but I think what's interesting is that you said, like, oh, we don't, like, you don't care. You don't look for other people's pity anymore, other celebrities' yeah. pity. You don't. I'm exhausted. I agree. But first of all, I think it's interesting seeing now, like, after what happened last night, the world suddenly stood up for us. It's like, it went from. Not really. So, not really. Lots of countries did. I, I don't know if you read the comments on posts. Oh, I'm not looking. I'm talking about countries, Listen. politics, countries. Yeah, not whatever. People commenting. There's always going to be people commenting on social media. F*** you. F- like, I hate. No, no, no. I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about, like, there were a few big pages that I follow on Instagram. Wasted and some other pages that okay. I follow that uh, just put, like, a, Iran started a drone strike mm-hmm. on Israel. Mm-hmm. Right? 
and I uh, and I got, went into the comments because how stupid can you be to support right. a radical Islamic regime right. that oppresses his own people? Mm -hmm. And a lot of the comments were. Iran has the right to defend itself. Still the libs. It's the low culture. Stand with Iran. Iran. And I was like, what is happening? Yes. Yeah. But What is this? Yes. But the, you're always going to have the liberal woke culture. I'm talking more about the countries that stood up. Austria made a statement. Britain. France. I think I even read France defended, used like a... Their air defense to intercept some missiles. Jordan, too. That's a big deal. Listen, That's a big deal. Listen, Jordan, I don't know if you guys know that, but the Jordanian king. Prince king. 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 He's a, uh, he, he was a pilot, like in, in the oh, Royal you know Air that. Force. Oh, okay. Right? Like a combat pilot. Mm -hmm. Like he's no joke. <laughs> so the thing is, people think like he defended us because we have some, some sort of agreement like Israel and Jordan. No. It's because... The, the Jordanian, especially the king, have a very, like, they take very high pride in their air force and their air defenses. So it's really like an Arab pride thing. Like, I won't let your, your drone just cross my country, you okay. know? That's not how it goes. So the, the, the Arab, like, ego yeah. wouldn't let him. Interesting. Wouldn't let him. And everybody's like, thank you for the, uh, for, uh, the king of Jordan yeah. to help us. He doesn't. He doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Just don't fly over Jordan. He was more about. You think they give? They'd actually give listen, zero shits. It's all about pride. He is more about letting the Iranian know that they can do shit in his airspace than okay. defending Israel. Okay. You okay. know, and also he's got a bunch of agreements with the with the Americans and yeah. everything. But like, people don't understand that King like the. the King of Jordan, which is an amazing title. Yeah, <laughs> I would love that. King title. of Jordan or Prince of Jordan. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. He's. I don't know if 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 you if you track his action through the years, the only thing you can determine is that he's doing whatever the fuck he wants. And like a true king, should like a true king of Jordan. A true you king can love should. him, you can hate him. Really, yep. His wife talks shit about us. He doesn't even pay attention to That's it. Amazing, Mad king respect. of Jordan. Mad does respect. Whatever the. F he wants and you know when 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 uh, when uh, palestinian like when palestinian jordanians wanted to um run through the fences with israel when the whole war started yeah. we thought it's going to be a problem because you know there are a bunch of palestinians living in jordan yeah. that were trying to like get into gaza whatever and the jordanian um government just Put up like a bunch of machine guns on the borders, and they were like, "If you come close, we're gonna fucking shoot you." Wow! And as Israelis, we were like, "Holy shit! Wow. <laughs> awesome. This guy yeah. doesn't fuck around, yeah. you know?" So yeah, I I, so I don't shout know. Shout out to the king of Jordan. Shout out Do you know to his the king name of Jordan. Or just king of Jordan. Yeah, so I, I I always <laughs> I always get confused because I fucking no 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 no. no. It's it's not the iconic one, but like uh, I, I gotta say I got <laughs> I gotta say it. I think I wrote king. On uh, on Google and immediately just King of Jordan, <laughs> Abdallah the Second. Wow, that's a that's a legit name. Yeah, he looks like one of my uncles. How old is I he? gotta say, like I mean, listen, he looks I mean, like my my dad's older brother. I gotta say, like Dochimon. That's how he looks like. Um, how what? old is he? How old is he? <laughs> I gotta say, Do like I'm, I'm just being honest. Uh, how old is he? He is. He was born in January in January uh, 30, 1962. Rocking it. Doing the math. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's not that old. Not at all. Not at all. And still very and feisty. Still, yeah, and still, <laughs> and still got it. <laughs> um, I mean, I haven't seen a picture of him, but he sounds like he's Oh, oh, it. so please. Not that money is Listen, everything, he, but he, he is he's sounds in, wealthy and... Uh, he looks good in a very like honestly. Moroccan synagogue kind of way. Yeah. You know? Come on. You know? Kitty. You can tell yeah, he loves couscous, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Matan, so we actually got a lot of audience questions. Again, oh, let's do I, this. I, I chose one that I thought was a little relevant, especially still now, still today, and even more so will might be relevant if a, another war breaks out. Before you say, like, before you get to the segment, yes. I got to say, I got to be honest, I didn't want to come today. I know. I didn't. I, I was, know you didn't. Knows, you know. I know. Uh, God doesn't know because it doesn't care. But <laughs> I really, I really wasn't like I was exhausted. I haven't sleep all night. I, I was waiting for the call from yeah, my reserve exactly, service, yeah. obviously. But like, I, I get how important this is and how much Olim loves this. 
and that's the only reason I came today. Oh. That's the only reason. So I got to say, this is really important for me. And this, a lot of people are looking for the looking. Asked me if we're filming this week. They're looking yeah. out for the specific podcast. So like, to, to, to our audience, Olim yeah. or people abroad, whatever, whatever you are and wherever you are, our audience, this is very important to us. This yeah. is very important to us, and and we love you guys. And so so yeah. thank you. And it's all gonna be okay. And we it's have all a gonna be okay. Us. It's and all, Biden. <laughs> it's all gonna be okay. Uh, uh, so now you can get to your because I. I'm sorry, I had to no, say. No, it. it was really sweet. Thank it kind of made me emotional. I almost teared up. Right Aww, now. shut the. Matan f- doesn't really get like <laughs> sensitive, so when he does it, it's 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 a big deal. It's a big deal. Um, okay. okay, audience question: mm-hmm. Has dating in Israel changed post October seventh? I think I think Shachar and Gal gonna back me up on this. I think it's it haven't really. They're both in a relationship, by the way. So, okay. yeah. But like. And I you're think, single? To yeah. Confirm not, for audience? Not, mm, situationship? W- w- situationship. Situationship. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> nice That's way of getting out of amazing. it. Amazing. <laughs> um, I think everything, every time <laughs> shit happens, you have like the first month and a half of like hooking up with your ex. <laughs> I was like, are you okay? Blah, blah, blah. And then after a month and a half, two months, everything just goes back to normal. Did you hook up normal. with your ex? What? No. Did you reach out to any exes? No. No. I, I knew it's, it, it was a trap. I knew it. Because I got all the messages like, are you going to be leaving again? I was like, come on. This is too obvious. So so I'll give you my take on it. Do you know what a bullish market is? Bullish? Bullish. What does that it's mean? a finance term. A bullish means you expect demand or things to go up. You expect the price to rise. You expect okay. things to go up. Okay. Bearish means you expect it to go down. Bearish? Yeah. This is my finance girl. Like bullish? Out bearish? Yes. Bullish up, bearish down. Because bull in finance is up, right? Yeah. I mean, bull is like, it's a, it's a bull. It's an... That's why they have the statue of a bull in uh, Wall Street, right? Because the bull is throwing you up with his whatever. Basically, it's if if I say I'm bullish on the market, I think the stock market's going to go up. Okay. okay? If okay. I say I'm bearish, I think the stock market's going to go down. We've learned something yeah. today. My finance girl is coming up. Amazing. Just like finance the carrot girly. cake. Girly Everything is a girly. <laughs> carrot My cake girly. <laughs> <laughs> carrot cake girly. Do you want to give a background on that? Uh, oh. Yeah, we were uh, doing a uh, Shabbat dinner uh, with, uh, the w- with the Rappaports. And I don't know how we got that. Like maybe There you was remember- a delicious carrot cake. There was a del- delicious carrot cake that she didn't make. Obviously, <laughs> she bought it. Uh, and, and there was a whole debate around like banana bread or carrot cake. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and they're just starting like, started like going like, oh, where are my, uh, where are my carrot cake girlies at? And they're like, like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, is this a thing? Like, I didn't know. Americans. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. Anyways, so my question is, is it really a bullish market for guys who are not in Miloim service in the dating sphere in Tel Aviv? I don't know because. I, like supply and demand. Think supply and demand. Uh, There's a lot of supply of girls. I mean, a lot of yeah, a lot of a lot of demand. Sorry, a lot of demand for girls. Not a lot of supply. All the guys are mean lean. The, it's the army. not really. You don't not, think it's a bullish market? Not really, because because uh, like what I, from my experience, I know that women usually they can wait. Like they will wait for you to come back from Miluim the week, you know. When when, during, when will my soldier return? From yeah, war? during the weekend, you know. Yeah. They will wait for you. So it's not like, oh, uh, the guy that I'm talking to is in Miluim right now. Let's f- this guy. No, it's not how it works. You know, mm-hmm. I, th- I I give more credit to women than that. Do you think it's looked down upon? Because I'm a feminist. <laughs> I'm a feminist. The biggest feminist of them all, yes. Tom Paris. So I think women just don't, you know, the guys are in Miluim. No problem. They no have problem more time, with. you know, to... Do you think it's looked down upon when a guy is not Miluim? <laughs> From a girl's perspective, I can say, yeah. Th- I think that's a question yes. for you, not yes. for me. Yes, I think I think it is. Okay. But on the other hand, he's, he's around. He's there, yeah, yeah. You know? So when... Sometimes that wins. Sometimes. 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 Just being around. Sometimes. That's how my dad won <laughs> over my mom, by the way. Oh, well. She, she had a boyfriend. And my dad was just around. <laughs> like, my dad was pretending to talk to, to her dad all the time. Wasn't your dad in the army yeah. for most of your life? Yeah, he okay. served yeah. where she lived. Oh, okay. Well. So he was going to meet her dad all the time, like my grandpa. Uh-huh. He became best friends with my grandpa. And all of our friends were going, listen, like, this dude is here for you. Just give him, you know, yeah. just yeah. give him a little bit of credit. And she was like, no, I have a boyfriend. Like, I don't care why this guy always, you know, shows up. And then, you know, she and her boyfriend broke up. And my dad was like, guess who's around? <laughs> and, and that was it. That's, you know, if you want something, just be around. 
So I, I think we are 100% in a buyer's market. There is more demand than there in supply. Girls are all constantly looking out for guys. The guys they want are not there. They're all on Miluim. There was even a guy who made Aliyah mm-hmm. from Detroit, Michigan. If you follow the Instagram page, you've seen the reel. He got interviewed by Nefesh Benefesh. Why'd you make Aliyah? And he said, you know, like, I really wanted to come to Israel. I, I've seen you it. You saw this. Yeah. And he was just like, I think it's the perfect time, you know, while all the guys are off in Gaza, may they come back safely. Um, you know, I just think it's a perfect opportunity to meet a girl here. The girls are lonely. They're looking for someone to meet. So I definitely think it's a bullish market. I think there's a lot of demand, not a lot of supply. Check if so he's I still think, single. So, and, and that, <laughs> that's a good, good follow up. Yep. We'll follow up with that. Um, I do He's think- single, 100%. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting a kidney on that. He's single. I do think the dating the dating game has changed a bit since October 7th. Yeah, sure. Um, also, also, wartime dating is different because girls need emotional support. That's not how it was before. You know, girls are like, it's true. oh, like, come protect me. Do you have a mamad? Or the other <laughs> way around. Yeah. Or guys sending girls, do you have a mamad? Yeah. It's changed. Yeah. The pickup lines have changed. The dating app profiles have changed. Dating apps used to be in Israel. All the guys in their South America trip, like with the blue yeah. lagoon in Peru or whatever. Yeah. Now it's pictures of them in Miloim. Like it, it, everything's changed. So I, I do think it's changed, at least from my perspective. Again, I'm. You're in a situation ship, so maybe. Yeah, I mean, and maybe I don't feel it because yeah. I'm really in a in, in a very serious situation ship. <laughs> you can't even say it seriously. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm really like. I'm really hoping this one goes well. I hope so. I really Why put everything getting, I got Guys, into he's it. getting really emotional and yeah, sensitive. Why, why? I don't know who this girl is, but thank you. Like, I've never seen him like this. I kind of <laughs> like this side to Matan. Yeah, you know, I'm just trying is to she, be... Can I just ask one question? Sure. Is she an Ola or no. part American? No. Fully Israeli? Fully Israeli. Russian? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> and that was not even one question. I she's not Russian, but she's not Russian. Okay, okay. She's from um, Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> so you know same same no no no, no kidding so kidding, racist kidding, kidding. <laughs> um also one thing i i thought was funny during hopping off this dating wartime um field was that guys started volunteering in in these kibbutzes um and like farming and harvesting tomatoes like yeah. i felt like that was kind of a way to like flex a little and like be like oh i'm here farming i'm like harvesting tomatoes as a way to like pick up girls listen all, maybe nothing about farming is a flex all wait nothing. no it's Listen. When all the girls, when all the girls go on the trip and you're looking to meet a girl and you're harvesting tomatoes and fruit and vegetables, I think that's a an easy slide in. You know, what? first of all, it's not easy. But if you're doing that to pick up girls, good for you. You deserve it. Like if you're Maybe picking tomatoes guy, yeah. in the blazing sun just to, you know, meet girls, good for you. That's way better to like, go to a yeah. bar. Just Pick those tomatoes. You deserve it. <laughs> I don't know. All I'm saying is my Instagram feed was full of random dudes going to harvest tomatoes amazing. all of a sudden. And it was weird. That's um, all I'm no, saying. No, amazing. It's volunteering. Yeah. And if you're not going to Miluim, go support the Israeli right. like, agriculture. It's very, very right. important. Every time I see uh, uh, those stories, guys, girls, I don't care. If I'm seeing you picking tomatoes or cucumbers or whatever, you're awesome. Like that's, that's a lot of you know, good points in my book. Like, okay. good for you. I don't care your mo- about your motives. Okay. I don't. If you're doing it, you're supporting the Israeli agriculture, which is, you know, needs support. Good for good you. Good guy, Matan. Don't, wow. don't let this <laughs> right here, you know. I, I'm like, simply. You're I'm picking sim- tomatoes <laughs> because you want to hook up. Good I'm, for you. I'm simply following up on the question, has dating in Israel changed <laughs> post October 7th? That's all I'm doing. I okay. see new Tinder profiles. I see new ways of sliding in. I see new Instagram pictures. That's all I'm saying. Exactly. Um, so if it has changed. Yeah. Answer the question. Be creative. Be creative. Yep. And, you know, support yep. your country. Yep. Amazing. Yep. It's a win-win situation for us. Yep. Um, what, are your, what are your thoughts on the impact of fertility rates? The impact of October 7th on fertility rates. Do you think it'll impact fertility rates? Not uh, impact. Do you think we're going to see a boom soon? Yes. Yeah. Yes. For sure. I got to say. I, I was skeptical at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, by, but then, you know, my brother just had a baby. <laughs> 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 so, you know, hopefully. But that was planned before. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously. But uh, we need more Jews. Yeah. And I think we understood that during yeah. the war, you know? I think, I think we... 
when October 7th happened, I expected a birth rate drop in the first nine months and then a spike in the following 12 to 18 months after. And I think we're really, <laughs> we're really going to see a baby boom, a new yeah, baby boom. Uh, yeah. Some generation. of them even unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of them unexpected. Yeah. I mean, see, this is part wartime dating impact to those girls wanted emotional support. Do you think Things like happened. you're thinking like three, four months we're gonna see a bunch of like pregnant olot? <laughs> Potentially. Potentially. Not me included, but potentially. <laughs> the the more reckless a lot. You the know? more reckless a lot. <laughs> which I don't fall into the category. Yeah. I'm good. And then because of that, we're gonna see a lot of a lot more dudes just asking to go into Gaza, you know? Just like Yeah. Yeah. I gotta go. I can't stay. Wait, here. it's crazy. Also, hop in relation to this question also. I feel like every time I would go out to a bar or a club, mm -hmm. I'm not even kidding. A guy would come up and be like, int and introduce his friend to me and be like, this is my friend. He just got out of Gaza, blah, 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 blah. And then I go up to him and I'm speaking in Hebrew. And I'm like, did you actually get out of Gaza? And he's like, no, my friend is just trying to hype me up. I'm just like, ugh. Like to be honest, I think this is a rule of thumb for every Ola. Okay. If somebody walks up to me to you and say, I was in Gaza, he was. He wasn't in Gaza. Nine times good, out of ten. Rule of thumb. Nine times out of ten, he was not. Because people who is really in Gaza, who's really serving in the Middleim and been through some shit, are not gonna go partying when everything is booming all the time. You're gonna get the worst fucking post trauma yeah. attack you will have in your life. And I'm talking from experience. I really do. Wow. Like I a few days ago, I didn't told that to anyone but a few days ago we had a big blast outside of my apartment it was um i guess it was a uh, amut hashmal who blowed up or something something happened mm -hmm. and for, electricity cable for yeah electricity cable just blows mm -hmm. uh, i guess because of the rain whatever okay. and for a solid like two minutes after the blast i was just like looking for my weapon it was it wow. was weird wow. it was weird <clears throat> like uh, Dor and his uh, my roommate and his girlfriend was really panicking and, and I was just for a moment there I was just like okay I need to put some shoes and it to get out you know and so I I feel I, I feel like it's very disrespectful I to agree. the actual yeah. people who fought in this war and still fighting to use it as a pickup line I agree. and I'm I, I'm not I'm not blaming the American girls sure who, who believe it because yeah. it's it's, it's believable. very sleazy to do it <laughs> as a pickup line yeah. so shame on you I'm saying in Hebrew especially okay yep a lot don't fall out take the rule of thumb yeah to heart because it is true um so, in in summary, has dating in Israel changed since October seventh? Yes, a little bit, a bit yeah, a bit. A I gotta bit. agree. Yeah, I hope you. I hope we answered your question thoroughly. Um, it's so funny that everybody's afraid, so we can do like a four hour podcast and <laughs> <laughs> uninterrupted. <Yes. laughs> it's just like you know. And I'm like, what's going on in the news? I don't know. Are you checking the news? I'm, uh, are no. you on Twitter? Uh, no, no, but my uh, I told you my my uh, my brother just had a baby, so the you know yeah 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 there's a bunch of new pictures and you know Aww, yeah, yeah Uncle Matan I'm I'm already an Uncle Matan for two adorable okay. little Russian kids <laughs> half Russian <laughs> is this a Russian also or Ukrainian well no Russian, Russian my, okay. my brother-in-law is Russian okay okay so. um okay now on to Hot takes. Yeah. That's it? We're done? We're done. Oh, God. Yeah. No. I love and hate hot yeah. takes. because I know, because it's ending. Yeah, because I love the hot takes and I hate the you know the fact that I we're, know. you know. I know. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm sorry. Let's the, do la it. the last round of hot takes before I... Why am I so emotional today? Before you run away. Before yeah, I run away. Yeah, yeah, Guys, yeah. to be clear, again, I am not running away. I had this flight booked since like December. I want to be home for Passover. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since they started threatening us, you know. I was texting Matan last night. I was like, how are you doing? Is everything good? He goes, he goes, enjoy New York. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> I was like, I'm literally checking in, being a nice person. Can you not check in on me? Be like, how are you? Do you need anything? He goes, enjoy New York with a little like card. <laughs> because she, she was trying to be sweet. I you was know, trying to be sweet. He was like, how, how are you? This whole war situation. I was like, oh. I was looking for a sense of comfort. Enjoy New York. <laughs> I, I didn't to. get it. I'm Just sorry. FYI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Hot take number one. Yeah. Olim don't actually love Israel. They love Tel Aviv. 
Depends. I agree with that. Depends. Because if you go up to Enola and you're like, would you live anywhere outside of Tel Aviv? They would 99% of the time say no. That's not true. Ole that already live in Tel Aviv, maybe. But there's Olim all over Israel. Most of the Olim live in Tel Aviv. Get outside, get outside of your bubble. Get outside of your bubble. There's Olim everywhere. And Ashdod. The fe- Ashdod, <laughs> Ranana, Natania, yeah. Yerushalayim, yeah. Be'er Sheva. They're everywhere. So I guess this question was more directed to most Olim living in Tel Aviv. Exactly. In Tel Aviv don't really love Israel. They love Tel Aviv. And that I can agree with. I hope not. Oh well, yeah, most of <laughs> most general of Tel Avivians yeah, yeah. just you know. Love no, but Tel Aviv. I feel like to general Tel Aviv, and you could say, okay, if I, you move to Herzliya or where Netanya or Jerusalem, would you live there? And they would be like, yeah, if they had no other choice. Elaine would be like, if I had no other choice, I would move back to America. I'm not gonna fucking live in. Jerusalem. I don't know. I hope that's not true. But if I mean, you say so, I believe you. Head, so. Yeah. Don't put me in Jerusalem. No. I will not survive in Jerusalem <laughs> or a stone or in Antonia. You will survive everywhere. Don't worry about it. Um, so next one. Shuka Tikva is better than Shuka Carmel. I hate them both. Why? I don't know why. I we, don't know we why. We went to good Mexican there. Yeah, Shuka but like not it's Shuka crowded and smelly and Americans love it because they're like, oh, that's the real Israel. Yeah. Smelly, yeah. disgusting people throwing, yeah. you know, fish on a, that's not like, I don't. <laughs> so, some girls even say <laughs> some girls even say this is really like bad but they say they walk down Shuka Carmel to get an ego bo- boost yeah because all the like the sellers are like mommy yeah. boy, I can understand yeah. that though I, yeah I, I, exactly that's why they love the Shuk <laughs> to get an ego boost so somebody with a unibrow you know and and, uh, and uh, you know and, and a weird ass almost a beard can be like ah, where, 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 <laughs> where, are are where are you going <laughs> You, you want halva? <laughs> so, so back when I was a new Ola, I would actually go to the shuk um, to practice my negotiation skills. <laughs> like fully practice. And you know, it would be like a winning, like a small victory that yeah. I wanted to, if I even got him down five shekels, yeah. I, would, I would call my mom after mom. I'm an Israeli, officially an Israeli. <laughs> so I think it's, I like shuk a caramel more. Shuk a tikva scares where, where me. Did... It's in Hulan. Shuka Tikva. Isn't it like borderline Hulan? No. Borders Hulan? Tikva? Yeah. Uh, it's close, but it's not border. Like, uh, in a, it just in, seems really far. In, in Shkunata Tikva, in the Tikva neighborhood, you will meet the weirdest <laughs> fucking people you will ever see in your life. And I'm going to tell you a short story. We went to uh, a Kube food review. That sounds really <laughs> yummy. That, exactly. Because and because of my Rocky. Exactly. Thank you. So my friend Ruby Michaeli, which is like a foodie and he's also a chef, he's doing like a tour, a Kube food review tour in Israel. He's been to like every, almost every Kube restaurant. And I, I commented on one of his posts. I was like, dude, I'm half Kurdish. Take me, mm-hmm. you know, and immediately texted me. And he was like, dude, next week I'm on Tikva in Kube, the Atarnegol, whatever. Come with me. Obviously, I brought Dole with me. Because, obviously, because you can't do anything without him. Listen, we're there. Like, this is the weirdest story ever. We're there <laughs> for a food review, right? We're waiting. Ruby came with his wife because they're a team. And she's like, listen, I think we should film it from here because we're going to see the sign, whatever. She's like mm-hmm. orchestrating the whole thing. And we're sitting there. And suddenly we hear, Ugh! and we're like, what is going on? And there's a guy in line. In front of the con- in front of the counter, like going like, Ugh! and everybody's like, guys, guys, what is going on? Like, please, sir, sir, can you step? It was like it was like somebody had a gun. Sir, sir, calm down. Three seconds went by, and he just went, Bleh! just threw up on oh. on the counter. Like people were eating next to oh, him. Oh no! Just like. Throwing up and and the and owners. And he was a normal guy. He wasn't like a uh, like a homeless, homeless like a, okay. yeah, like drunk homeless okay. guy. And the owner's daughter knew Ruby from TikTok, so she was fucking panicking wow. because she was like, "Oh, that's the Kube guy, and he's coming to review our Kube." So they give oh, us like no. a bunch of like free Aww. samples or whatever. And she was fucking panicking, and we ran away. We stood aside because because he would start throwing up, and the woman and a woman and her son, I think, were on the counter eating Kube. And the woman was going, why are you doing this here? Like, walk away. Just get away from here. And he just literally turned around oh. and bleh, started throwing up to the street. Oh, like, it was like God. a river of Ew. vomit going from the counter of this Kuba place 
to the fucking disgusting. road. Okay, this is disgusting. Listen, we're running away. <laughs> me, Ruby, and his wife going. Oh and Dor, where was Dor? Oh my god, Dor was sitting at the <laughs> fucking table going. Of course he was. Are we hitting or not? Of you know, like, he was. Of what is? He why was. are you guys running away? He was just waiting for, was the, waiting kube. for the kube. Respect. Somebody's fucking throwing up his guts, and Dor is like. So, so what? what? Yeah. Like, Legends. You know what I mean? It's Legends. not even, yeah. you know, I'm hungry. <laughs> Did he get the Kuba in the end? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. We were debating We were debating if we're doing it or not because none of us were in the mood to eat yeah. anything. But the owner and his daughter were like, oh, we're so sorry. Like, it's, uh, it's like. They probably it, felt so embarrassed. It's, it's the oh. same. It's the same drunk homeless. We always give him oh, some no. food. And we was, and this time they were like a little bit packed. So he had to wait. Oh, no. And, you know. But it was, it was really nice. It was great Kuba. But the thing, like. Dog wasn't affected like <laughs> at, all. at all. The, the moment the Kubi arrived, we were like, okay, we're just gonna taste it, rate it. I don't know if I wanna eat. And Dog was like, okay, so give it to me okay. after. You nice, know? Yeah. <laughs> it just so destroyed dope. like three plates of Kubi. Unbelievable. So, guys, Shuka car- Caramel is better than Shuka Tikva. <sighs> From that experience, from that experience yeah. yes, yes, yeah. It's uh, and at the end, after we were done filming, uh, like me and Ruby were standing in front of the in front of the store, uh, and Do was sitting aside, like eating the rest of the kube, obviously. And then a guy just walks up to him, the weirdest fucking guy I've ever seen in my life. He looks old and young at the same time. It was weird. It's like got like barely like four teeth in his mouth, and he went to Do like straight, and I'm looking at it. And he went to the door looking at him. And Doe was eating, looking at him back. And he goes, <laughs> there are some weirdos out here. <laughs> <laughs> what a door response to that. Well, okay. like, yeah, yeah, I was like, you know, I hear you, brother. Oh my gosh, I will not be going to Shaka That's oh, the only, that's the experience. stuff I can say in the in the English podcast because I could never, you know, like I'm talking, to, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, next. Yeah. People in Israel get married only to be able to afford rent. Woo. No, that's not true at all. Someone submitted that. that yeah, because it was probably so a stuck up American. I think it's controversial. It's not controversial because it's not true. I mean, it's just a lot not of the true. controversial ones are not true. Are, are Do you true. even know people from Tel Aviv? Because they're not getting married. That also is true. The closest that uh, Tel Aviv men get to proposing is the knee drop. Exactly. Yeah. That's the just getting closest. on the beach exactly. and putting one knee down and being like, where are you from? That's the closest exactly. Tel Aviv men get to proposing. They're living that together. They even have children and they're not getting married. So, yeah. okay. Pff, you know. Whoever submitted this, you know shit. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Speaking with an American accent automatically leads to a 30% price increase. Just 30? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you think it's more? You're so sweet. No. How how, how much would you give it? 50%. Least. Really? Yes. But it depends. Like, at restaurants, they wouldn't do that to you. Obviously, it's more like the Shook vibes, right? Where Listen, else? Where, where else wherever, besides the Shook? I actually am genuinely interested. Where else besides the Shook would they be able to hijack prices for I'll Americans? make it very simple for you. Whenever the price is on the menu or whatever, we can you can see the price. It doesn't matter which accent you're going to talk. Whenever you can't see the price, like, you know, fair shook game. stuff. It's all fair game. Just, you know, yeah. it's all fair game. Okay. Just okay. have an Israeli with you. Tip. That, Another tip. That would be like, on. because you would be like, how much is this uh, uh, purse? It looks great. And the yeah. guy would be like, it's uh, 200 shekels, but for you, 190, <laughs> you know? And then an Israeli guy would be like, Zarbaim shekel. Yeah. Just what are you doing? He'll be like, oh, is, uh, with you, uh, 50 shekels. You know? It's, yeah. That's we need how to do works. like a buddy program for new Olam. Yes. Like uh, whenever a new Olam Ola makes Aliyah, like set them up with a buddy, an Israeli buddy. Yeah. It's, like, it's going to be like friends with benefits, but yes. friends with discounts. Yes. <laughs> there you go. And just, maybe benefits. And maybe. maybe benefits. We'll see. We're not maybe pushing benefits. towards anything. Could be both. Could yeah. be both. But you yeah. can just, you know, when you're like, I need to go to the Shuk tomorrow to buy some stuff. So you have your buddy, yeah. your discount buddy. You're like, what are you doing tomorrow? Let's do this. I need you for an hour and a half tops. And, you know. <laughs> and see. Lunch. Buy him lunch. You so know? You, they get to practice their English. Yeah. They get to make new friends. And they get free food. And they get free food. So I think yeah. that, and right? Thank I you. I think we should actually take this into consideration. This might be part of an, an only. Because you'll in, save so much money. Edition. You'll save so much money on yeah. what you buy. So you can afford give a yeah. lunch, you know, yeah. to your buddy. Yeah. You know, you will save so much money. Okay, we're going to look into that as well as the Sto trip that we're planning. Oh my God, we have to do we have this. To, we're, no, we're doing it. I'm, I'm being serious and I'm planning it when I get back from New Amazing. York in Texas. I just went to Ashdod. Uh, of course you did. Because, you know, because the situation That shift. reel, by the way, got so much hate. What? Like in a good way. In like, a good in way. In a good way. way. They're like... You know how people... 
That was amazing. People and were like, Swifty who does to... she think she yeah, is? Her cool. story's amazing. I... And I was, I was supposed to be like, guys, come down. And I was like, f- yeah, like, and they were attack like, her. They were like, as a chayab in a and I'm like, <laughs> she lives in a fucking bubble. I was like, right? <laughs> it was amazing. Those were some really good comments. I think that was one of the first times where I actually enjoyed getting hate. Like, and Holy laughed shit. at it, genuinely. I was having so much the best fun. Time. Too many more, guys. Oh, Too many more. Oh my God, that was amazing. We have to go to Ashdod. Then you do a no, real no, form will. Ashdod. We will. We'll do a yeah. follow-up for the audience. And you'll be yeah. like, Ashdod is amazing. And still people will be like, this. Yeah. <laughs> we'll even waltz from there and show them. Yeah. Walt exists. I'm glad you got so much enjoyment out of seeing all the hate I got. Well, I, 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 think you're t- I know I can always count on my time to back me up when I get it. Uh, you got, like, I was, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I, also, I, the Swifty, you got, you got a little hate on that. Yeah, too. but I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a heart. I don't. So <laughs> was, Today you do. Today you do. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. But it was so much fun watching the it comments. It was really good. Because I was, was looking, really good. I was reading the English comments. So I was like, okay, people, you know, people were like, oh, really? Oh, Ashdod, yeah, yeah, that sounds yeah. Great. All the like, Americans were like, I was to, I was in Ashdod, yeah. it was awesome. And then the Hebrew the comments and they just were go just, off. Mwah. Guys, if you need entertainment because after they assume, listening to this, go look at the Reels comments. Pure entertainment. 100%. Please go. Look how they assume <laughs> yeah. she doesn't know Hebrew. It's just it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Who the fuck did she think? Yeah, yeah. That bitch. Chaya Beseret. Chaya Beseret. Yeah. Chaya Bebua. Mi Choshevet. Oh my God. It was. And they're not entirely wrong. That's true. That's true. And it was I do amazing. Love it in a Just I, pff, yeah. loved it. Loved, loved every it. second of it. It was amazing. It, it was amazing. <laughs> Um, guys, this has been awesome. We're very lucky to be here um, talking to you guys right now. And it means a lot to us that you guys are tuning in. And yes. We wish you all safety and happy Passover. And may this all end soon. This and whole bug on. Amen. Bring them, bring them home. Everything. Yes. And everything. if you have friends that suffer from anxiety, tell them. Stop watching the news. That's true. Tune in to our podcast. There you go. We got a good one. We got a great one. We're having fun. We're smiling. You know, that's the best revenge. Keep on living. Exactly. Keep exactly. on living. Exactly. We love you guys. We love you guys. Bye. Audio Tear. Yotzei Tochen Shel Israel. Huklat Bulpanei Audio. Hamishavket et Spotify Bi Israel. Audio.